Hi, I'm Joe Birch, Android developer and Google developers expert. I recently created an accessible guitar called Chord Assist. Although this guitar is made up of many different moving parts, at the center is the brain of the conversational tool. Whilst I made use of dialogue flow to build this functionality, I needed to make use of some server-side component to handle the logic of the conversational tool that could not be handled inside of Dialogflow itself. For this, I decided to use the Kotlin client library for actions on Google. I love Firebase functions as well as writing JavaScript. If a tool gets the job done, then it's fine to use by me. However, some languages allow you to write more concise and readable code, which is where Kotlin comes in. Using the client library, we can declare functions that will be used to handle the available intents for our conversation. We'll begin by using the for intent annotation to mark a function that is going to handle our intent, providing the name of the intent as an argument. Each of these intent functions that we define will receive an instance of an action request. This contains all of the data that we need within the current context of the conversation. To begin with, we can retrieve parameters that have been provided by the user. In the case of my learn chord function, this will be the chord that they want to learn. We'll then need to retrieve a response builder for a conversation. This is provided by a helper function from within the client library itself. Using this response builder, we can then add components for our response to this conversation. We'll then return a simple response instance that will both display and speak the provided text to the user. With that done, we'll then build our response and return it from the function so that the calling point can use this within the given conversation. We can also handle other types of output with the client library, such as rich content. After checking that our request supports the screen output type, we can add visual components to our response to be displayed within the conversation. Here, we build instances of the card and image components to display a visual representation of the core to the user. Finally, we provide a suggestion component to prompt for further engagement within our conversation from the user. At this point, we have an intent handler that supports both voice and visual output for our conversation. Here we've only seen one example of how the Kotlin client library can be used. The library supports many more different kinds of response content and operations. You can learn more by following the link in the description.